classic study that examined the direct impact of deindividualization and situational characteristics on human behavior was the Stanford Prison Experiment that was conducted by Haney, Banks and Zimbardo back in 1973. Zimbardo and his colleagues were interested to see just what would happen if you put everyday people into a negative situation and environment, such as a prison. In their experiment, Zimbardo and his colleagues created a synthetic prison environment in the basement of the psychology building at Stanford University. The prison consisted of barred doors and windows, bare walls, small cells. There was even a small closet for solitary confinement. A group of male Stanford University students participated in the study. The participants were told that they were participating in a two-week prison simulation. Some of the participants were randomly assigned to take on the role of the prisoner, while the others were assigned to take on the role of the guard. To keep the prison simulation as real as possible, without the prisoners knowing, they were arrested from their homes and dormitories and were charged with armed robbery. The prisoners were taken to the local police station where they were treated like criminals. They were fingerprinted and photographed. Then they were brought to the mock prison blindfolded, handcuffed and chained. When they arrived at the prison, the prisoners were stripped naked, deloused and had all their personal possessions taken from them. The prisoners were given prison clothes to wear and bedding to sleep on. They were each given a number and were only referred to by their number. The guards were given military uniforms to wear, as well as a whistle, a hitting stick, handcuffs and reflective sunglasses. Wearing the reflective sunglasses meant that it was difficult for the guards to make eye contact with the prisoners. The prisoners were locked up in their cells within the prison and were cut off from their usual environment, just like criminals. The guards, on the other hand, worked eight-hour shifts and returned to their everyday routine when they were not on shift. No physical violence was allowed. The researchers sat back and observed the behaviour of the prisoners and the guards.